this one. He went inside, outside, he played him up, he looked for the gap, and he burst through it. Hello and welcome back to the south coast where the sun is shining, the temperature is rising but it's only going to get hotter as we head to Wimborne Road where the Paul Pirates take on the Bellevue Aces in this Premiership clash. A big crowd is expected here tonight as Mark Lemon brings his Aces back to Wimborne Road in fine form so the Pirates really are going to have to be top of their game to take away the points this evening. Both teams have already been on the track with their team managers and as Casper Verini would say, perfecto. A couple of changes in the team tonight sees the Bellevue Aces bring in the experienced Scott Nichols as a replacement for Owen Tungate and run right in replacement for Jason Garrity, whereas the Pirates are without Nikolai Clint and they bring in Nico Cavati to cover in his place. As you can see, very, very busy in the pits at the moment. The riders are getting themselves ready. They're meeting the fans, they're signing the autographs. And as always, Speedway Portal, we're here to bring you all of the behind the scenes action. We're going to do some interviews, we're going to meet some of the crowd as well, get their opinion on how they think the evening's going to go. And our friends at Rerun Productions, they're positioned in the apex of Benz 1 and 2, and they're going to be capturing all the on-track action which will be available very shortly on DVD and Blu-ray to buy. But for now, sit back, relax, let's go to the pits and have a word with one or two of the riders. If I don't make a start, you're 100% sure I'll be on the phones. <laughs> we are joined in the pits by Pirates new recruit Frederick Jakobsen. Frederick, first of all, welcome to Paul. Thank you. You're going to love it here, I tell you. The sun's shining, it's great. It's perfect. Very happy to be here. Thank you. Now, obviously, a bit of a whirlwind. It's happened pretty quickly, hasn't it, for you? Yeah, yes, for sure. It's, uh, it's been pretty stressful for me to get here, to say the least. I was racing Denmark Witness Day, having a van going to Latvia before the meeting on Denmark Witness Day. And then we were straight, going straight from Latvia Friday to Poland racing Sunday, back home Monday, and then straight to here. So it's been pretty good, tough getting here, but uh, we, we sorted out and, and we're here to do, to do the thing. Now, for those Pirate fans that don't know a lot about you, you were here on Press and Practice Day, wasn't you? So Matt was, was yeah. checking you out then, wasn't he? Yeah, I was for sure. I was actually doing a Blue Ribbon meeting here in 2016. But it was only my second year on a 500cc bike, so I wasn't really that experienced yet and too good. But, but I'm here now, uh, full of confidence, coming with uh, a lot of experience uh, by a couple of years in Poland and, and Sweden too. So I think uh, to go to England now is, uh, is the perfect time for me. And with your form in 2018 so far, how is your form? How is it at the moment? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, started off pretty slow in Poland but it's got very very good last couple of meetings got 14 points here Sunday and and had a good first round in the under 21 world championships too so I'm coming in real confident and and just excited to be here good stuff well, we're excited to see you here as well so have a great yeah. night stay safe ride fast and thank we're back much. those points for the Pirates hey perfect thank you very much yeah we're joined with Scott Nichols this evening, guest for the Bellevue Aces. Scott, back at pool again. Last time we saw you was for the Premier League Riders Championship. You had a bit of a bad neck. How's that? Yeah, it's fine. I don't really know what went on. It was uh, kind of was in the morning and just, I don't know if I trapped a nerve or something, but yeah, it was not nice. I've not really experienced anything like that before. It's going to be a horrible headache, but I thought, ah, oh, you know what, getting a crash on one, adrenaline a kick in, I'll be all right, but it wasn't to be. So, uh, been and gone. Other than that, your form at the moment, pretty good. And obviously, Peterborough, the four's got to be happy with that win. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, pretty happy with the way I'm going right now. Uh, yeah, the fours is really cool. I've, I think I did one a long, long time ago, but I haven't uh, ridden in it in the modern day. And obviously, Peterborough were the reigning champions. They were determined to get it back. And so, uh, yeah, it was, it was a cool event. A lot of races, a lot of dust. Um, but it was certainly good to get the win. I think the dust at the moment, everyone's struggling with that, aren't they, with the weather and so on. We see you a lot on the TV. Uh, are you enjoying your role as a uh, Speedway Pundit? Uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's good fun. It's, uh, you know, I've done it for a couple of years now and it's nice to kind of be the other side of the fence. And uh, no, it's good. They're a really good bunch to work with. Natalie's really good. She knows her stuff and it kind of makes it easier when you can just be relaxed with somebody and just have a chat. So, uh, you know, and the, and the racing's been good. So uh, it makes my job a lot easier. Now coming back to tonight against the Pirates here, when you come as a guest as opposed to a fully fledged team member, is there any different psyche to uh, to how you approach the meeting? 
Not, not on a personal level really, I mean in the day it's even when you're racing for your own team you're still here to represent yourself and respect it's your name on the line and your reputation. Well, it just comes down to the person really, um, you know I'm, I'm here to do a job for a different team tonight and uh, as always I'll go out to do the best I can. It's, I suppose it's different if, if you come down nitty gritty end of the season and, and playoffs and things like that at County and it's your team, it's a bit different but having said that if it's a situation you're got to do that job for another team you just go out and do your business it was a fair few years ago now that you had donned the actual pirates race jacket a good times though when you were here it was it was fantastic times and uh, you know it's kind of moved away from Ipswich which I kind of needed to do to kind of spread my wings and uh, that was the first year that Matt and Mike Golding at the time took it over um, and it was fantastic it really did they were kind of really sort of rejuvenated Speedway here and uh, yeah I had a lot of good memories rode with some really cool people it's great to see you back at Paul, although you're the other side of the pits. Have a great night, Scott. Thank you. Stay safe, ride fast, and uh, let's, uh, let's have a good night tonight. Will do. Thank you. Mark Lemon, welcome back to Paul. Second time this year already. Looking forward to another encounter tonight. Yep, and the, the sun's out. It's been another great, great, great day, and uh, obviously uh, the, the British summer's been turning on. So uh, we're all looking forward to it. Can't wait to get underway. So let us know how you're doing with your team at the moment. Obviously, we've got rider replacement in tonight. I think you've got Scott coming in. Yeah, we've got uh, Jason Gary was on a 28-day um, uh, sign period, injury period for uh, Steve Worrell. Um, and obviously he's uh, fractured his thumb at Sheffield last Thursday. So that's unfortunate for him. And um, obviously the only facility we get is the rider replacement. So we'll use that at number two. Um, Rowan Tungate is in the Danish League tonight with a clash. And obviously we've drafted in Scott Nichols uh, to ride at number four. We talk about the Clash Pirates also having to bring in Nico Cavadi for Nikolai Clint as well. So the uh, the fixed race nights, they are working, they aren't... Well, it depends how you look at it. They're, they're, they're certainly, they're working because it's a lot better than, say, it was last year when we, when you, we bring half a team here full of guests and, and vice versa. It was just, I think when Paul came up to Bellevue last year, I think he had one or two riders. And it, it was no one wanted to see that. Yes, the set race nights has obviously caused a little bit, probably uh, detriment to the sport, probably on the, uh, the off race nights, and it's going to take a while for some of the crowds to adjust. Um, and obviously, we've seen the demise of rise, which is really sad. So it's 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 had a hit in it's had its pros and cons, but we can't forget how bad it was with all the doubling up and clashes last year. So it's had one fix, but it's um, unfortunately caused another crack. It really must have been actually quite a, a difficult time for the promoters and the team managers to try and get those guests and bookings and fill the teams last year. Well, you spent half the time on the phone. Uh, it, was, it was far from ideal. And the fans weren't very happy either about it at all. So, like I said, we, we've kind of like covered over one, one, one crack and opened up another. So Now, Bellevue having a great season so far. You yep. must be very happy with the team. Yeah, still got the same team, um, unlike some others, but, uh, you know, there you go. So, no, the boys are really doing good. So, like, they're chipping away, you know, like, I'm really impressed with like, the Drods and uh, Etheridge down at Reserve. You know, they're, you know, they're coming to do a job and they've certainly been doing it. So, um, and obviously, Dan buley has been on fire. He's been a revelation this year. He's had a few sort of below uh, performances for us just recently. So, hopefully, he can turn that around strong. Yeah, no, he's a great, great kid to work with, a uh, huge future. So, uh, like long way it can make it continue and um, he, he pr keeps progressing. So tonight Pirates obviously they're itching to get on that track and get these points uh, on the board aren't they? Uh, yeah likewise I mean we've just lost three points from our uh, away win um, at uh, Rye House which is obviously you know a bit disappointing obviously you know it's the, the least of our worries really the sports probably more uh, at a loss but uh, you know the last two away matches we've won so we want to carry on with that momentum and uh, I, I think the boys mentality is equal to that so uh, whether the pool is strengthened up it doesn't really phase us. Sounds competitive, it's good. Thanks ever so much for your time Mark, have a good night tonight, Speedway's a winner. There you go, right, awesome. Cheers.
versus Bellevue. What do you think? Well, I really love them to win and score some points, but uh, after coming last week, he's rather disappointed. And I think the trouble is we've been so used to having such a winning team back four or five years ago when we had Magic and Shamak and when we had Darcy and Chris, I think we've been spoiled. And this year has been a real disappointment to me at the moment. Whether things will pick up, I don't know. But it's like everybody says, as long as you're in the top four at the end of the meet, end of the season, that's all that really matters. But you do like to come to see your team winning, not by a great margin each time, but you like to see them win it. But you are still here, avid pool support for many years. I do believe Since you started coming back when Matt took over. When Matt and Mike took over in 99, wasn't it, I think. And I've been coming since 2000. And uh, like I say, I live in Somerset and we're about hours drive each way. So I'm a bit dedicated. <laughs> and, you, and you got the banner out here for the boys as well so they can see yeah, it on track? Yeah, yes. I haven't got my jacket because uh, I thought weather-wise we didn't need it this weather, hopefully. Listen, but have a great uh, night tonight, Jim, and uh, let's hope the Pirates get those scores in the, on the board. I hope so sincerely. Cheers. Thank you. OK, we've got Nigel here tonight. Nigel, Bellevue Aces are in town. How do you think we're going to get on? Pull win. Bye. About five points, five, oh, six okay. points. Yeah, pretty close then. Yeah. OK, and what about you, Liam? I, 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 say, I say pull win, but I say pull win, win about... By five points. Five points again. Pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. Okay, we're going to go behind now. How many do you think we're going to win by? Twenty. Twenty. I've been optimistic. Hey. Matt will be very happy with you I for saying that. I would be very happy with that. Yeah. Have a good night, guys. Enjoy good yourself. Night, yeah. Thanks, Okay, just before the meeting tonight then, we've got Pam with us tonight. Pam, how do you think the meeting's going to go tonight? Oh, it's going to be great. I've got a feeling about it. Just got that feeling. Our boys are going to be good. All for a win then? All for a win. Definitely. Definitely, yeah. Here we are then, before the meeting tonight, we've got Malcolm and Bradley. Malcolm, first of all, how do you think we're going to get on tonight? I think this is our turning point tonight. We've pulled in another young reserve, so I think he's going to do well. He's got a lot to learn in Jackson, he's got to come through the tracks. But at the same time, I think, with what we've got now and the way we're set up, I think we're looking now to move on. It's going to be a toughie, but I feel we're going to win it tonight. I think I think your place is in front of this camera. That's pretty good. Okay, and what about yourself? Yeah, no, it's good. It's looking good. New new rider, so we're looking positive. We're looking positive for a win tonight. Boys, are all going to pull together. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. All the team looking good at the moment. Pirates so. win. Hopefully, yeah, Pirates win. Have a good night. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, you too. The anniversary and the visitors celebrating 90 years of Speedway. As uh, well, we uh, open a little bit of nostalgia once again with our old time parade.
Okay, okay we're joined here by Anne. Now, Anne, you've been a Paul Pirate supporter for how many years now? I don't know, since I was about, well, I don't know, in my early teens I was anyway. And, and, and I, I'm an old lady now. So. No, not at all. Back in 2003, Pirate Videos did an interview with you on this very bend. Oh, did they? And now we're videoing oh, you oh. all these years later. It's great to see you still here as a Pirate supporter. Now, the boys are doing well tonight. Do you think we're going to pull through? Yeah. Think we'll win? I, I got that son. That, that's my son. <laughs> yeah, we're going to win it. We'll be all right. Yeah, we're going to win it. as anybody and you're telling me it was a very quick visit uh, at the last minute yeah definitely uh, you know I think this time last week I didn't even know I was coming so it was uh, yeah it's pretty cool for me to, to get the chance to come down here and um, you know it's Wednesday night so uh, what do you do Just go down to Pool Speedway absolutely well I know you've been following the uh, fortunes of the Pirates like us uh, from all the way home in Australia and uh, things not been going so well, you know about it, but uh, hopefully maybe one or two words in the pits, you never know. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I think they're doing all right tonight, you know, 10 points up and they made a decent start, so uh, I think if they can stay on top of the, the heat leaders from Bellevue, then yeah, they should be all right, you know, I think, uh, yeah, I think the boys have, have got it covered down the line, but um, yeah, the heat leaders need to make sure that they're on top of their game and um, yeah, as you can see, you know, when, yeah, you only need one of them to get a bit of a start and uh, they're hard to track down. Absolutely. Well, we've been watching them all year. Things may have turned the corner. Let's hope so. Uh, we're, we're certainly praying that the Pirates can make it up to the uh, playoffs. From your point of view, uh, how's things going? Uh, retirement, good? Yeah, it's been fantastic. You know, it's, um, yeah, it's winter back home, so the weather's pretty much like it is here today. Uh, so it's been, yeah, really nice, to be honest. And, um, yeah, I've been really enjoying it. Uh, I've got a, a newborn as well, uh, just three months old, so he's been um, taking up a lot of time and, uh, and a lot of sleep. Um, but yeah, he, he's, ha he's gone great and um, my fiance Jane's doing really well and yeah, I'm, I'm just super happy to be home and uh, it's been a long time. I had my first Easter in Australia in 18 years this year, so yeah, that was pretty cool. You made a guest appearance uh, for us via video for our 70th anniversary, and you look pretty relaxed there, I've got to say. It looked a nice little setup you've got. Yeah, I think I might have had a JD or two before that video, but um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I am, mate. I'm, I'm really enjoying being back home. Uh, you know, I, I, I spent a long time here, did 17 seasons, and um, that's a long time to be homesick. So, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty grateful for, for, uh, for being back home, you know, and. 
and of course, you know, I've come back here and I've been, you know, I drove back into Pool and I still don't need a map to get around here, you know, it's, uh, it's not like I've forgotten the place. Absolutely not. But I'm sure, I, I guess everyone that's a racer must miss the racing, but I'm sure you don't miss the travelling. That and cleaning bikes, yeah, I hate that. So, uh, yeah, I don't do that <laughs> anymore. And, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty casual with all of that. And I just go for a bit of a ride through the bush now or whatever with the mates. And, um, yeah, look, I, I don't have that pressure anymore. I think it's a pressure that's the hardest thing to continue with. And, um, yeah, oh, you know what? It's probably the gym. I hate the gym. I don't know about you, but I hate the gym, and that's, yeah, I pretty much quit because I didn't want to go to the gym anymore. Well, you don't look bad on it, I've got to say. I think you've lost a bit of weight there, actually. <laughs> uh, maybe there's fewer burgers and less gin, but I don't know. Uh, are you close enough? I know Australia's a huge place, obviously. Are you close enough to keep in touch with any of the guys we know? Yeah, you know, I saw, uh, I saw Craig Boyce a couple of weeks ago, and, um, yeah, he's as mad as ever, you know. Was, that was really cool to catch up with him, and uh, I see Steve and Tony Langdon all the time. Um, yeah, I spent a fair bit of time with Ryan Douglas from the, the road up to Sheffield and uh, I've been coaching him and training him to, so that, you know, to prepare him to come back over here and uh, he's making big progress now so that's really cool for me to sort of step you know, on that side of it and, and start a bit of coaching. Uh, I've really enjoyed that side of it. So, Look, I, I, yeah, I still love my Speedway and all of that but I just... Um, yeah, I just feel like I don't need to ride anymore. As ever, it's a pleasure talking to you. I'm glad you brought the sun with you, although uh, it's uh, about to set, hopefully, and we'll get back on with the racing. Thanks for talking to me, and for everybody here, everyone, welcoming back, Davey Watts. Safe travels, Davey. Okay, we're with Craig after nine heats then. Pirates are eight points up. Casper's just have a full. Enjoying the night? Yeah, really good. Uh, yeah, it's really nice to see the, uh, the, track, the track a bit more consistent. Uh, it's really nice to see uh, Freddie setting in quite well. Um, yeah, it's really nice to see the uh, the whole team being a little bit more uh, consistent and uh, yeah, really nice. So. Great to see Josh get out in the uh, first heat as well. Yeah, it's really nice. You know, I think uh, potentially going down to number two might give him a little more confidence, uh, a little less pressure. Um, but yeah, no, it'll be really good. How long have you been following the Pirates for then? Uh, I've been literally coming down my whole life. I've been, uh, I'm actually named after Craig Boyce, so, uh, you know, that always helps, so, yeah, yeah. My favourite rider? <laughs> yeah, you know, always a bonus, so, yeah. So you're having a good time then, yeah? Yeah, as always, yeah, love it so down there. So, we're eight points up at the moment. What do you reckon for the final result? Uh, I think Bellevue might, might squeeze us back a couple of points, but hopefully win by round ten. Right, so, enjoy your night. Right, cheers, thank you very much. Well, then, Kiri, what do you reckon for tonight's meeting? <laughs> very good. We're winning. Tonight. Great performance tonight. I think every rider has put his uh, full 100% in and we're looking up now. Oh, the only way is up, eh? The only way is up. We're, we're on our way. We're joined by the meeting sponsor, Ian, from Bells Decorating. Ian, great to see you here tonight. Yep. Are you having a great time? Yeah, superb. Really good. You know, the lad's going well, you know. Josh is going really well, which is good to see. Now, we see you every week down here at Wimborne Road. Big support of the Pirates, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. I mean, can't say enough for the club, you know, having a few beers last night with the, some of the boys and Matt and whatnot, you know, yeah, really good. Great. And earlier on in the season, we saw you at the gala dinner. What an amazing night that was. Yeah, we were. Yeah. What was it like to be in amongst the yeah. likes of Tony Ricardson? Oh, superb. You know, some of my childhood heroes having a beer with them. Absolutely faultless, you know, superb. So how did you get involved with sponsoring the Pirates? Um, there's a friend, fr well, well, good friends. I'm here, Kyle Newman, um, you know, sponsored Kyle for six months, I guess, and had a few chats with Matt. He said, would I like to do, do a bit for the club and jumped at the chance to do it. Excellent. And have you got many of your team here with you tonight? 
Yeah, we've got 15 of us here tonight, you know, all the boys, happy camp, you know, make me a few more quid, hopefully. And in a minute, you're going to go on the centre green as yeah, well? Yeah, we're going to watch three races from the centre green, the lads are pumped for it, so a few drinks after as well. Yeah. Before we let you go then, Bell's Decorating, based in Paul, but servicing the whole of Dorset for all of your decorating needs. Tell us a little bit more about it. We do, we do everything, yeah, and I'd like to think we're the best in Dorset as well. There you go, go check them out, Bell's Decorating. Cool. Cheers, mate. Yeah, uh, a lot of people don't realise that we don't just sit, finish a meeting, go home and sit down and twiddle our thumbs, we go home and bust our ass off. So I've been working tirelessly as hard as I can and I know it's taken a long time, but um, yeah, you know, I've been beating myself up a lot, but uh, yeah, tonight was a, an improvement for me and yeah, thanks for everyone sitting by. It's great to have you. Are you going to join us for our press conference? Yeah. In that case, I'll, uh, I'll leave the question until a little bit later on, but it is good. Great to see you start with a race. We're in a great way to set up the evening. Thank you. Josh Krasonic, everyone, our rider of the night.